Okay, welcome back once more to Let's Play Battle for Wesnoth. In the last uh, episode, we uh, went from here to there, uh, killed one of the enemy leaders, which by the way sometimes nets you some extra gold. Uh, we went to this uh, keep here, and uh, tried to uh, escape the uh, orcish attack on the elves. Uh, poor Galdred over there on the uh, fortress uh, sadly snuffed it, so uh, we'll miss him. Aside of that, uh, we are doing reasonably well, because the main obstacle between us and the uh, uh, promised signpost is uh, removed, as the orcs and elves are clashing on the map. Oh wow, they didn't even reach the village yet. You sure did a good job there, Galdred. Uh, the sad thing is, I could take out his troll here now, but by the time he's over here, uh, he will have recovered. Because trolls have uh, regeneration, which gives them uh, complete rec or oh, 8 points every turn, no matter what they're doing. And uh, no matter where they are. Which is highly annoying. It also removes poison, by the way. So if you're poisoned and have regeneration, you're first, uh, you will first cure the poison, and I think you might even regain some health. And in all subsequent turns, you will just regain health as normal. Oh wow, he took him out, and he leveled up. Nice, Elvish marksman. Elves are wondrously keen sighted the gift, which contributes to their mastery of the bow. An elf practiced at archery can hit targets that a man couldn't even see and can knock a second arrow almost as soon as the first one is let fly. Realizing this prodigious skill does come with one cost, that being lack of practice with sword. Yeah, there we go, special units this unit's marksmanship gives it a high chance of hitting targeted enemies, but only on the attack, so uh, you won't gain the bonus if you defend. But it's still considerable. Do I have to move down for the as well? Let's uh, check the objectives again. Only move Conrad over there, okay. Uh, I'm gonna keep Delphador back, and right now we don't have to rush in, but we uh, would be well advised to uh, at least uh, try to gain some more experience for our other troops while we are fighting there, or while we are escaping. Also 1650 uh, or so, which uh, was the starting point of this episode. I didn't set my countdown here because I was uh, kind of sure I would make the uh, I I would be able to judge the uh, length of the episode by this real time clock you have going there. Oh no, they are destroying our home. Yes, they are. There can be no looking back. We must go quickly. Yeah, we must go. Hurry up, man! Let let me go. Okay, one of the uh, downsides of loading your game is, and, and basically rolling back to Let's Play, is that you have no bloody idea what you've already talked about. At least I lose track of it if I load the game. And uh, I'm not sure if I told you about this one uh, multiplayer map on uh, in this game that is just masochistically hard. Oh, purple. Okay. I was wondering why this uh, archer was attacking from there as opposed to from the forest, but it makes sense because it wasn't uh, the archer's turn. Now it is. Yeah, and they're moving away. That's a smart move because the uh, accuracy bonus of the archer overrides the defense bonus of the uh, assassin. So you don't have the 30% chance to hit them, but you have the uh, whopping 60%, which is quite a lot better. And the uh, elvish uh, shaman, I was about to say evolved, but uh, grew up into an elvish druid. Did they grow up? I don't know. A druid has uh, cures and heals. Cures means they can remove poison. Heals means they replenish health to nearby allies. Okay. We are one turn away from the signpost, so what we're doing now is we will farm all the experience we can possibly get before lagging it. And because the RNG is not quite on our side here, we are not making that much experience. 
a shame, but what can you do? Okay, let's uh, kill this one. Most likely kill this one. There we go. And let's end the scenario here. Very well, we have made it this far. But where do we go next? We must travel north and try to make it to the Isle of Alduin. Hopefully we will find refuge there. By the way, this came out way before Skyrim, so Alduin is uh, not quite that guy. Of course you are right, Delvador. But what will become of the elves here? The elves will fight. They may even prevail. But I fear things do not bode well for them. Let us not speak of it now. Onward! Good luck, Conrad. Don't worry about us. We will fight as best as we can. Yeah, you have a match victorious. We will gain some bonus gold for all the uh, gold we have. Basically, you get for uh, you get the early finish bonus. This is a uh, set per scenario, and it's often worth finishing a level early. Uh, you gain, yeah, we gain thirty one per turn for that, which is tacked on our gold, so we will have one hundred nine. 40% of that will be given to the next scenario, and we uh, this means we will gain 43 more gold next level. Very useful indeed, because it means we can recruit more. And it means if you do well consistently over a campaign, you will of course amass more units, you will have more bonus gold, because of course the bonus gold allows you to recall stronger units and so on. And it's all quite nicely done. I also like how you have an increasingly powerful army with uh, over the course of the campaign. Okay, so we are here now. Apparently we didn't quite make it to the Isle of Alduin. Okay. We should be able to board the ship at Blackwater Port, but it seems the orc are orcs are heading there too. Rebels who hate Ashavir are loyal to the memory of the king desperately hold the port. Uh, as it is one of the only places where they can ship supplies and weapons. Delphador, some orcs are following us. We must make haste. Yeah, we have to. Delphador, my old friend. We had heard of your coming and of the attacks on the elves. It is good to see you again, although I prefer it will not in such sad times. Conrad, this is Kaelin, one of the mightiest of the Horse Lords, and one of the few who is willing to oppose the Dark Crown. Rumor has it that his lands has slain fifty men and a hundred orcs. That's not exactly that much. It seems the orcs have come here too, to try to wrest this port from our hands. Our defenses are still weak, but reinforcements will arrive soon. Yeah, maybe also for the orcs. We will help you fight them off until the reinforcements arrive. With your help, young warrior who has basically no experience, we have hope we can fend them off. But you must not tarry here long, for your survival is even more important to our ca cause than the strength of the port. A ship is due here in two days. Surely it will be able to take you to safety. And the ship will take us to Alduin? Yes, we will sail to the Isle of Alduin. My home, Conrad. And the home of many Maggi. Maggi? Magi? I have no idea. I will send one of my horsemen to serve under you. I offer you my support, Conrad, and the support of my men. From now on, you will be able to recruit horsemen. Thank you, sir. But how uh, shall I best use these horsemen? How do they differ from elves? Well, if they have horses. Elves may be the lords of the forest, but horsemen are powerful as well. On the plains under the midday sun they can fell the toughest foes with sharp spears and under heavy hoofs. Recruit troops wisely, Conrad, and remember that you can recall experienced units from past battles to help you fight again. Greetings, young master. I pledge myself your, to your service. Conrad, note that Haldiel does not seek gold upkeep. As a loyal unit, he fights for us solely out of loyalty to our cause. Such units are extremely valuable. 
Take care to use them cautiously in battle, lest they fall. Yep. Uh, okay. We don't have an early finish bonus. What is all that blue? It's, uh, okay, that's the rebels. And the green is the enemy army, it seems. Yep. Good. So now we have a horseman. Horsemen are awesome and also uh, dangerous. They're glass cannons. Uh, what you see here is a charge attack. You see 22 is a lot of damage and they charge so they basically deal double damage but they will also take double damage so if your first attack misses and the enemy hits you might very well kiss your horseman goodbye because they are not very very uh, they are not very durable however leveling them up is quite a feat if they reach like this level here grand knight i think that's a unique thing uh, Grand Knights have reached the acme of skill with sword and lance. Wearing full plate and riding steeds spread more for power than full speed, these warriors form the core of any serious cavalry force. A Grand Knight at the head of a charge is a terrifying sight for infantry and is often enough to break right through a defensive line. Yeah, those, cha uh, those charging units are incredible. Also, let me just uh, check that uh, unit description here. Okay, advances from night. That's uh, pretty impressive. Sometimes, uh, over the course of an update, the units will gain uh, additional like upgrade paths. Also, control R means you will recruit, alt R means you will uh, recall. And note that a horseman costs 23 gold, and recalling costs 20 gold straight. So, if you have horsemen left over from past maps, it's always better to recall them because they are just three gold cheaper than uh, they would be. I'm gonna recall all the units from the last battle, or four of the survivors, and I want uh, another horseman here, <coughs> and maybe an elvis scout as well. Just to have some other durable cavalry forces. We should be able to take this guy out before the uh, two days have passed. At least I would hope so. By the way, I could go for those villages here, but I don't want to take them from my ally because I think he can call in the stronger units. You will usually only be able to uh, call in like uh, level 1 units or to recruit level 0 at level 1 units although level 0 are kind of uh, kind of scarce here while your allies can often call in strong units you saw that there he uh, recalled a uh, knight I think and thinking of it uh, actually 50 man or 50 uh, kills is okay it is substantial in Wesnoth because it well, it gives you the uh, experience you need for that, uh, for, for level 3, so maybe he is really that good. Also make sure to always check your uh, opponent's uh, movement, although what I would like to see would be uh, an attack radius as well, because of course the uh, attack ra radius is one higher than his rate of movement, because he can attack... Uh, I mean, this guy could attack everything from here to there. Like, one square further than his movement radius. And sometimes that is a thing I forget. And then I'm, like, completely surprised when they just move in and kill my troops. Which is uh, neither wanted nor planned, nor in any way, shape, or form desirable. Okay, can I recruit one more? Yes. Let's go with one more fighter, and then let's... Uh, Go all in and uh, bring Conrad to the battle. I'll probably cut this episode after this uh, fight here. Also, why is that? Oh, that's just a village. I, I keep thinking that's a. Uh, uh, those blue dots are troops. Or all the dots are troops and not villages. I wish they would look a bit. Although, actually, they do look a bit different. I should just uh, get used to looking closer here. Uh, by the way, sometimes it's uh, quite worth it to explore the map and check places that are a bit out of, uh, out of out of range. Like places that are a bit away from where you'd usually look for something, like maybe this, this hut here, could be worth looking into. 
can't afford it right now because I have to uh, fight off some orcs. Okay, we slowed him down. Uh, now I could actually try to charge him. You see here, 22. Okay, wait, what are we doing here? 22. Okay. Yeah, charge means we will uh, miss. You missed twice. How did you do that? Uh, and why did you do that? You're so useless. Okay. I don't want to move my scout too far ahead. Because that would just get him killed. I'll move this guy over here. Oh, by the way, I can order movements uh, also while I'm going here. So I'll, I'll have this guy move over there. Because I want to see if there's something special in here. Sometimes you gain extra units or extra items or something. Now, items are kind of a rare thing in the Battle for Wesnot. They will... Uh, they will basically upgrade your troops. Uh, sometimes they gain you, uh, they they grant you more abilities. Sometimes they just give you uh, better defense, and sometimes they uh, sometimes their quest important. But it's generally worth getting them. For example, they give you uh, a range attack if you don't have one, or even if you do, so they give you a second range attack, usually with a different uh, attack type. For example, there is a, uh, a trident that gives you a lightning attack, which has pretty decent damage, pretty decent hit chance, and uh, the uh, damage type of arcane, which means it is strong against most units and devastating against undead. Yeah, that knight was uh, screwed. On the bright side, it means uh, we survived, and thank you for killing my experienced archer. Yeah, the AI is good at taking out the experienced troops first. I think I mentioned that already. They do target kind of smart, so uh, I'll have to take care of this now. You there, die. I was kind of hoping you would miss one of the attacks, because then I could have uh, used Conrad or another unit to uh, take him out and gain the experience, because Delphador... Uh, doesn't gain any levels anymore. You see his experience as, uh, experience uh, score here is purple and his bar is purple as well, which means this unit has reached the uh, maximum level possible. They will still gain a bit of health if they level up. They will also still gain... Uh, okay, that is not the loyal one. Okay, did they change charge? For some reason, it doesn't uh, seem to do double damage anymore. Oh, that's already attacked on this uh, spear attack. Maybe it was. It didn't seem to do that uh, astonishing amount of damage, so I was uh, kind of wondering. Okay, you go there, because I really don't. I really can't afford him to die. Okay, come on. Sometimes it can also just uh, drastically changes the rules. Like it, uh, for example, it tells you to kill a, a guy, and then after a while, uh, something pops up here, and the rules are suddenly get from all the way there to there in like two turns. And stop killing all my experienced units, damn it! Yeah, okay, that was uh, to be expected. But I really have a bad luck here. I really have bad luck with the uh, enemies. Uh, okay, I might have to roll back this one. I might just have to roll back this one. Uh, the enemy is really strong. They really are strong. Annoyingly so. Actually, no. Let's bring in Delphador here. 
with his amazing hit chance uh, that didn't hit anything really. Okay, 12 2. Let's go for it. Let's try hitting for a change. Ugh. Yeah, that, as I said, the RNG can really screw you over. But luckily you have the uh, back to turn something button, which I might be tempted to actually use. Uh, I'm really tempted to use it. Let's just figure out what's up there. Ouch. Uh, not good. Yeah, we are vanquished. Okay, screw this. I'm going to go back to turn... 4, maybe? Yeah, that'll do. Uh, sometimes you just have to do that. And I will probably have to do it quite a, quite a few times in this uh, playthrough. Change of plans, we will actually uh, try to go here. You will go there. And we will uh, just entrench in the in the woods here. So the enemy has to send troops over and uh, maybe we can uh, fight him. Maybe it'll be enough to uh, take them out. I wish I had another uh, shaman. Nice one. Is that uh, Sir Kaelin? Yes. Is right? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's just a knight. I'm probably going to try to uh, finish this scenario within this uh, video. Look at that! We're actually uh, being more successful this time. Uh, I'll try not to to make too much of a quick load and save. Like if I have to, or if if I'm kind of depending on a battle going in a certain way, I will try to avoid just reloading the save game. I can't promise that will be feasible though. Like it, it might there might be cases when that just doesn't work out. Let's lightning this guy. So does you just have to go straight for the kill. Okay, note for the spear attack, uh, it's it's generally or for the charge attack, it's generally good to use them as a finisher. So if you have a good chance to hit and uh, the enemy is already so weak that he will die from one hit, then you can do this uh, with great success. Okay, you don't have to finish him off this time. You don't have to, I said, because I wanted to use Conrad for that. Okay, you go here. Slow down the troll. Uh, you go up there. No, you don't go there. You go. No, you don't go there either. You go here. Uh. Always difficult to pick out where you want to attack and, and where you can afford to attack. I have to go in here. I have to start hitting! Damn it! Okay. Go there. You go here. This is just to, to keep the enemy busy because they will very likely attack him now. Although he might just take out his uh, Orcish Warrior to, take, uh, to, to do that. Move Conrad over there. And hope for the best. Godspeed, Conrad. Yep, called it. Uh, this guy is screwed. He will not survive this. Yep, there we go. 
but we had to uh, we managed to to split up the enemy forces a bit so that could have been worth it if you want you can also uh, keep count of how many times I have to roll back in a scenario I hope it won't be too many times and screw that uh, this was my only healer I'm not sure if you paid attention to the last level, but they do get stronger over time, so uh, a better healer will also heal more damage. Which is very useful, as you may imagine. Okay, Delphador is like the uh, guaranteed kill for many situations. Okay, I can't move Conrad in there. So I'll have to take this village. Okay... It's still night time, which is uh, kind of bad because we uh, have we we deal less damage here. Okay, please get in two hits, damn it! Woohoo! Conrad hit something. All oh, right, we attacked with this one already. Uh, you go there. Attack this. <sighs> of course we don't have the luck here. Uh, screw this, I'll have to go back to turn 6. Uh. That's what I'm talking about. How far can you go? Okay. You actually take out this one. This was pretty safe because in four hits she shouldn't miss too many. Okay, this gave us the ability to attack this guy. Or at least try to. How could you miss that? You have to try to miss that, really. I hate the RNG. Sometimes. I mean, it, it's often fair that you lose, but many times it just takes you over big time. This might actually be one of those times because I can't freaking deal with those enemies. I can't take out this guy, I can't take out this guy. Let's go back to that, uh, back to turn 6 again. So again, if you try to uh, keep track of how much I roll back, this was the uh, second time now. And of course, it, uh, the game turns out completely different once more. I would actually use that chance to get a shot at his leader. But I might be out of luck there. I might be out of luck there. Okay, please hit this. Oh. Ah! Sometimes you can just... You, you can only curse while you're playing. What is that? Oh, nothing. Okay. At least we got the lo the loyal unit out of the way. Uh, also, could you try to actually r do something? Ugh. Okay, this one is most likely to die. The same goes for this archer here. Um, we could try to at least damage this one and maybe lower out the leader a bit further. Okay, Conrad, get the hell... Actually, there's no point in, in bringing Conrad back. That's actually one of the biggest issues here. I, I can't bring Conrad back. Be oh, there is no point because I can't recruit. So uh, I'm low on cash here. And I'm not enter entirely sure what to do about that. I mean, I, I know what I can do about it, it's taking out villages. But I'm not sure where I can take out a village without uh, risking too many troops. Obviously not there.
Oh my, I was uh, at least short time lucky for once. Okay, we might want to retreat. We might want to get the hell out of there. And uh, I will also cut the video here, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!